Get the camera. It's gone. Uh uh. Yeah. There. You getting this? <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> I you got tuna mouth. in the teeth. <laughs> We're getting ready to do a workout here on the hill behind us and um, we have some tips for you before you prepare to do a hill and Jasmine go ahead and <laughs> I'll start it off with every time that you're doing hill sprints make sure that you're starting off on your right leg one set and then make sure you're starting off with your left leg on one set because if you always start off with your dominant leg that leg's going to be stronger than your other leg so when you go to do squats you're going to be unbalanced one leg can be way stronger than the other. Also, be sure that you do a quick little warm up first before you take on a hill at full speed. So maybe do one half pace um, up the hill after you do some stretches for your hip flexors, your quadriceps, and your hamstrings. Um, just wanna be safe, prevent injury. Also, for speed and technique, make sure that you use your arms tight in towards your body to, to gain that speed, use your upper body as well as your lower body. And also be sure not to heel strike and kind of come down on the forefoot slightly so that you're not causing any damage to your low back. All right, have the most important thing is have a great time. Yeah, it looks like it's about to rain, so we're definitely gonna have to Here we go. really fast. We have a guest runner with us today. <laughs> Jarrett. This is Jarrett. He's gonna be running hills with us. Are you ready? Runners, take your mark. I'm ready. All right. And <laughs> go. Run, Forrest, run. Whoa. Whoa. Well, I lost him. I will fight as long as I live. Our last hill, no judgment. This is the tenth one. It's been a great workout. Hope you like it. He's gonna kick my ASS too. Box one, mom. High five, no. Face looks, are done. This My face looks like a cherry tomato. It's so hot. <laughs> Candyland. <laughs> it's not hot in here. Candyland. Oh, cutest. Cherry tomato. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what's going on over Come here, on but stars. follow me. There we are. Follow me. They're scared of ours. Follow me. I'm coming. Follow Mama Buns. Here is their finished product. Here's the most beautiful 
gingerbread house you've ever seen. Mm, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. There's dad. Take him back. <laughs> This is how you get rid of competition. This counter's already been cleaned up here. This is how you get rid of them. Jasmine? <laughs> Jasmine! Oh. Welcome to Jazz and Tina's Cooking Holiday Edition. That's right, we have some great things to share with you. <laughs> what are we sharing? <laughs> well, okay, so we have three different <laughs> things. Um, one of them is going to be a stuffed pepper, both tuna. And the next one is going to be our dipped banana chocolate. Festive. Festive. For the holidays. <laughs> Chocolate dipped banana slices, best for the holidays and healthy. <laughs> yes. And we have, what were these? Oh, our oat gluten free chocolate chip cookies. Oh, they're going to be so good. I've had them before, they're really good. We'll go so, into detail later. That's right. You can go to your holiday parties now, prepared and healthy. And we're glad to do that for you. We're glad you're here. Let's say. Let's so happy. <laughs> First, we started with organic. Um, peppers are one of the dirty dozen, and they're, they can be have pesticide residue on the outside, so we do do organic with our peppers. And we just clean those out and cut them in half. Mm -hmm. And over here, what is going to be in the tuna, um, we have our tomatoes, and we have some onions and celery. And also, we are going to have mayonnaise, but this isn't your regular mayonnaise that you would normally put in your tuna. Right, that man um, mayonnaise has sunflower oil as opposed to soybean oil. Egg yolks, water, lemon juice, organic distilled vinegar, um, organic sugar, salt, mustard flour, black pepper, and citric acid. Yeah. Look, and it's festive, it's a mat, look at how holiday appropriate this is. Red, green, red. Now we figured out there's about 20 grams of protein in each pepper. So what we did is we have um, solid white, white albacore tuna and this can, what was it, 80 grams of protein I believe. Yeah, it was 80. And this will do about four peppers, three to four peppers. So you're getting good amount of protein with this. Mm -hmm. So then you just stuff your pepper. You just pop it in your, pop it in your pepper. Pop it right pepper. in. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy followers. Alright. That's good. Oh, it's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. No, I don't even really like peppers. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm. Uh huh. It's the half happiest season of all With those holiday greetings and gay happy meetings When friends come to call Is that? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Hi guys! So now we're making dessert. We had all our protein. So now, and that was so good. So good, you've got to make those tuna stuffed peppers. They it took so like five minutes. Five minutes, massive Max. protein, massive protein. Yep. Now we've got bananas, and we know what to do with them. So, Ew. I'm just saying, Ew. we are going to make chocolate dip. <laughs> we don't know what to do. <laughs> no, we do. No. We don't know what to do. Chop the bananas, stay focused. All right, so we okay, Mom. are, we've got a double boiler, a makeshift double boiler going over here. Water being boiled so that we can melt our chocolate chips. Let me talk about the chocolate chips really quick. Um, 
I like these, I get them at Whole Foods and they're dark chocolate. Only 55% cocoa, but hey, we are just doing, making healthier choices and we're not perfect. But they're stevia sweetened, all right? So stevia sweetened and I really like them. They're Lily's dark chocolate. We're gonna melt two cups of those in the um, uh, oil, double boiler got going over there. Just have your toppings ready. Toppings. We have some sprinkles here that are vegan colored. So they're not um, dyes, not red dye number whatever, red dye 40 and all those Coconut. terrible things. Coconut flakes. Pecans, raw pecans, organic raw pecans. And now we just wait for the chocolate to melt. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of coconut oil to the chocolate because it helps it adhere uh, nicely to the bananas. And this is your good fact. Chocolate? Wow, oh gosh, this looks so good. You can dip Excited. anything in here, just beautiful. All right, so you take the fork and you have your toppings ready, of course. You have parchment paper ready to go and you just dip your banana here back. both sides. Did you don't lose it? it? No, nope. don't lose your banana. And then scrape it on the side. And then we're gonna, actually you can dip them in the toppings or you can just put it right on the parchment paper and then Whoa. sprinkle it with what you want. So we've got the pecans. I'll start a row of sprinkles. Can you guys see our little cute little bananas? They're so cute. They're cute. Oh, look at that. They're so cute. Look at those sprinkles. Okay, so when you're done with these, you're gonna want to put them in your freezer for six hours to overnight, somewhere in that time frame. So at least six hours, they can stay overnight and then they're gonna be ready for your party. She lost her banana. She's fishing. Somebody's fishing. Bob for apples. Oh, I think I lost half of it. Oh well, put them down. Run, yes. run, run. Merry go round. I'm trying to fish for my Send Santa to the poor child. What are you doing, <laughs> We are. <laughs> You don't want to eat it, are you? <laughs> okay, so we, look how good we're doing. <laughs> We've got this whole bunch of beautiful bananas going. Dipped in chocolate, and we will put the toppings on soon and get these babies on, in the freezer. You might want to make your, oh, my you might want to make your <laughs> bananas a little more thick. She did not read that to me. Thick enough for the bananas. I cut them. About probably an inch and a half. Whoa. <laughs> That's like half a banana. An half. No, I said half an inch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was half, half a banana. Inch. You can dip the whole banana in it. <laughs> you said we were good with bananas. <laughs> Dip the banana in the throat in the freezer. You, you could. You know what I did see? You can put them on a popsicle stick and you can do that. That might be a lot. Well, then you, yeah, and then dip it in some nuts. Yeah. Well, guys, we are ready to make our last recipe to take to your Christmas parties or have at your home for your family and friends. For the holidays, yeah. Um, it's going to be the oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, gluten free. That's right. So we'll go over the ingredients of what are in it. We have our Gluten free oats. Bob's. Old oats. Bob's. Not Billy's. Bob's. Not Billy Bob's. <laughs> Not Billy Bob's Red Mill. It's Bob's Red Mill. Right there. We have bananas and we are going to use six of them. We're going to double the recipe. What? Yeah. So normally it calls for three bananas. We're going to do six. We're going to double the recipe because we know we're going to need them. Because it's our flour. Our cameraman eats a lot. So we um, have unsweetened applesauce. Right? Yep. I think it's organic. Yeah, I like and my apples to be organic. So I'll tell you how much in a minute. Yeah, one third cup. Well, we gotta double it. And we're gonna use these chocolate chips again, just like we used for our banana chips. Right? So. And vanilla and cinnamon. So that is it. And now Did you let's say the almond milk? We use almond, almond milk. milk. All right, All so right. we'll put the recipe down below for you. But All these recipes. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's make get mashed. Okay. <laughs> Three bananas. No, six. Oh yeah, we're doubling the recipe. 
Double double. Maybe it was double double this Start with three. Double that. Race and let's, let's have a race and how many bananas we can fill the most bananas. <laughs> you lost I'm half winning. Of, you lost half of a banana. No, I didn't. Where? <laughs> no, I think we have seven bananas in there now. Shoot. It's okay. Okay. Got it pretty good. Yep. Then you get down and dirty and you use your hands. That's right. And roll them into a ball. That's right. Let's do it. Just take some of the mixture and pop it in there. And these don't really expand like cookies. No. Thank you for watching this video and remember to subscribe. Click Give us a thumbs up. Yeah, lots of thumbs up, please, so we can reach more people and share our recipes and our workouts with more people. So, thank Happy you. Holidays. Merry Christmas. Belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the half happiest season of all. Those are